Five counties across Oregon are enforcing new drug possession laws this week. Law enforcement is now offering offenders deflection instead of jail time. And nonprofits are spearheading this effort. Yesterday and today, the nonprofit 4D Recovery has been on the streets to help. Fox 12's Carly Olson got the chance to meet up with them as they awaited the calls. Carly, how exactly does this process work? Well, when someone is arrested on drug charges and they're eligible for deflection programs rather than jail time, Portland police will call this deflection team out to help. And so far, arrests and deflections have taken place, but we've learned that the biggest roadblock in this process is the lack of resources. You know, we just do everything we can to like plant the seed and give them um, an opportunity to change. Megan Buchanan has been on the team of four people walking around Old Town Portland, responding to calls and setting people up with a plan for deflection. Her personal history with addiction informs how she handles each case. Then once we get to talking to them and they understand that we have lived experience, um, I think it makes them soften up a lot and then they're a lot more willing to talk to us and work with us. Since House Bill 4002 went into effect on Sunday, Portland Police says four people have been arrested for drug possession. And the 4D team says they've helped four other people start the deflection process. But one hurdle has stood in the way so far. The main issue that I'm seeing down here is that um, we need more detoxes. We need, uh, there was not really anywhere open yesterday, so that was a little bit of a struggle. But things are coming online, even though it's hard to see it right now in the moment. 4D's executive director, Tony Vesna, says though they've been able to create service plans for everyone, some people have had to wait to get into housing or a detox facility. But he says this will soon become a thing of the past. Now, the legislature made, you know, investments over $100 million into treatment services uh, last session. It takes time to get those things up and running. Right now, it's like day one, did it all work? No, but it's starting to work and things are starting to change and people are going to get help. A couple of years from now, I believe we'll be sitting in a, in a much better place. The team knows it's the early days and they'll work with the county and police over time to create the best path to success for those suffering from addiction. When I talk to people who are out using, who are on the streets, they want to quit. They know that they need to quit. It's going to take a little time and it is happening. What they need is help and treatment. And I get that like sometimes it takes more than once and, and all that, but um, I do know that that like they're worth it, you know? Members of the 4D recovery team say that they will keep tabs on those that they connect with through the deflection program to make sure that things are going well. But they also say it is up to those individuals to follow through on the service plans. And tomorrow, Volunteers of America, as well as the county's PATH program, will join 4D in helping with those deflection cases. Reporting live in downtown Portland, Carly Olson, Fox 12 Oregon.